Jen Drummond is a mother of seven who has something to prove. If I had a Guinness World Record, my kids would think I'm cool. The Utah resident restructuring her life after a car accident. They said they didn't have one scenario where I lived. And so you sit there and you think about, I could have been dead and I'm not. So why am I here? What is my purpose? The Park City mother now tackling a mountain on each of the seven continents, although her kids are not so sure. My older kids are a little bit, yeah, my mom does this mountain thing. But then when their friends come over and they're like, you're the mom that does this. Mom's new mission, tackling the second highest mountain on each continent. When you say that they're harder than the first, what do you mean by that? You have Kilimanjaro, probably 14,000 people a year summit that mountain. Mount Kenya is your second highest point. You need ice axes because at the top you have actual ice and snow. And on an average year, 13 people get to the top. Jen setting the standard for everyone who climbs after her. As I'm climbing up that mountain, I'm just thinking of when I stick our flag up there, what that means for all of us. Right, here's a new road marker that we have that we've been here. Now you can get here easier. Where are you going to take it? And proving to the rest of us that whatever our Everest is, is worth climbing. I hope the takeaway is that people step into who they are and honor that part of themselves that they might have had to put on hold for a while because of COVID and all these different aspects that we've been dealing with as a society. And just remember that we live on a blue planet that circles a ball of fire that has a moon that moves our oceans. Like, let's just have fun and embrace who we are and spend time doing that because we don't get to choose when we leave, but we sure do get to choose how we show up every day. And when she got to Russia, none of her gear did. But Jen says that was a lesson too. I think it's really important to lean into our discomforts and expect things to not go the way that we want them to go and allow them to go the way that they do. Were the conditions perfect? Absolutely not. The, there was a ton of barriers, a ton of setbacks, but because I allowed that to happen, I allowed more to happen. Crazy just watching that. Jen will climb Mount Logan in Canada this spring. If you'd like to follow along, she's at Bold Brave Beautiful Life on Instagram. And she just climbed the second highest peak in Antarctica on New Year's Day. Even getting there is like a feat in and of itself. And then, of course, you know, to see her climbing the mountain, it's just unbelievable. It is unbelievable. But imagine the life advice that she's going to give her children as they grow older. Um, when mom says you could do anything that you put your mind to it, oh, you're going to believe it when she has receipts to prove that's it, right? right. <laughs> and she's just going to be an inspiration to just anyone out there that's right. looking to kind of push their limits, get outside their comfort zones. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.